Tomorrow we kick off another season of high school football, and everybody's grateful to be back out there on the field, but a Harrisburg high coach wasn't sure he'd see the day. Go, go, go. A new season begins for the Harrisburg Cougars, the team's first full campaign since 2019. I know we're going to have, but in game we want to step down there hard. It's also a new year for offensive line coach Lloyd Big Cat Hill. A favorite among his team. He's a cool dude, funny guy off the field. When we're on the field together, it means business. He's a fan favorite. I mean, he's a fun, he's a fun guy. He's a you know hard worker, but he, he's a fan favorite. That's why we call him Hollywood Cat. <laughs> Who called me that? If Harrisburg was Hollywood, Hill's story would be a drama fit for the big screen. I didn't didn't know what to do. You know, it had to be mentally strong. If I couldn't, if I didn't, if I wasn't mentally strong, I don't know how it would have shaped out. It starts in April of 2020, weeks after COVID-19 is officially declared a pandemic. Hill starts to show symptoms of the novel virus. I was blaming everything on my allergies, actually just not trying to believe that I had COVID. You know, I was coughing up blood, you know, just I didn't feel right for like a week. And I finally, I was like, you know what, I, I need to go to the hospital. And I went to the hospital and got checked. The test confirming he has COVID beginning a scary four day stay at the hospital. The anesthesiologist came in and was like, you know, if I have to come back in here, the next time you come back in here, I'm going to be coming in with my equipment. That means we're going to be putting you to sleep. I had the news on in my room and all I seen was if people were getting, uh, you know, being put to sleep, they weren't waking up from it. So it was it was a scary moment. What he called allergies turned into a fight for his life. I just prayed. I kept praying and just telling I got to be here for, you know, my family, my friends, you know, I'm co coaching here for the kids, the staff. Me and God was talking and we prayed a lot and he, you know, he, he helped me through this. Good. But Hill pulled through, leaving the hospital Good and going up. into quarantine for the next two weeks. If act one was the setback, <laughs> act two is the comeback. Back at it today, brick by brick. Being overweight is one of the biggest challenges of my life, you know, and it's just something that I'm trying to get better at every day. A second shot at life, meaning a chance for change. Brick by brick. Be back on tomorrow, brick by brick. You no, know, brick by brick is something that I try to live by and through my life, and even in my weight loss journey. With friends or family or on his own, Hill began working out every day on his feet. Come on! Another brick. We always in our group chats and things like that, we send encouraging messages and, you know, the brick by brick thing. We'd always put it in the group chat and just to give him inspiration so he can keep fighting and keep plugging along. The sport I have in my life, you know, it's it's, uh, it's helped me get to the point where I'm at right now. This takes us to act three, the return to the field, helping one of the best teams in the state get ready to march toward a state title while making a bigger impact outside of the lines. Come on, yo, you two. Come on, you two. At first, I wasn't really taking a virus that serious, but once I seen someone closer to me got it, it, it gave me a whole different perspective about it. I started to move more safely wearing a mask, social distancing from others. Big cats, Hollywood cats. Movie isn't over. Neither is the pandemic. So as the Cougars began their title run, Hill has a message for everybody. Living. Brick. By brick. Live life every day, seriously, to the fullest. You know, get the maximum, you know, give daily effort. Uh, just work hard and l make sure you live and you love and try to keep a positive mindset. That's, you know, don't get down on yourself because, you know, life is short.